With automotive technology evolving so rapidly, real-world hands-on experience is crucial when training the next generation of vehicle engineers. That's why collegiate automotive engineering competitions like the EcoCar EV Challenge are more important than ever. 2025's competition is just wrapped up, so let's dive into the results. The EcoCar EV Challenge is a four-year competition in which students from 15 North American colleges were challenged to re-engineer a rear-drive 2023 Cadillac Lyric EV. The competition focused on enhancing the Lyric's automated vehicle systems and vehicle-to-everything connectivity, while also replacing the Lyric stock electric drive unit with a different one of their own choosing. This EV we work with, the Cadillac Lyric, is super complex. Um, the systems that run within it are not easy to comprehend, and luckily with our GM mentor, we can go to them and say, hey, we're having a problem with this. And he can connect us with someone who, their entire job is to be an expert in that field, know everything about it, and give us exactly what we need. The U.S. Department of Energy pitched in their own expertise and organizational muscle with engineers from Argonne National Lab managing the competition. Some of Argonne's research and development portfolio is deployed into EcoCar. There's a couple of the uh, connected and automated vehicle events that we ran this week that are the result of DOE funding and Argonne research. And we get to see those realized here in EcoCar, which really uh, creates a win-win for everybody involved. Teams were given their vehicles for year two. And now at the end of year three, they've gathered at GM's Desert Proving Grounds to showcase their accomplishments and show down for a final week of tech inspections and scored testing. I think the thing that's impressed me most this week, it continues to be the camaraderie that the teams have. You know, this is a competition and, and everybody wants to win and, and likes to win. But I really see them working together to be successful, you know, sharing notes, sharing tools, sharing ideas, sharing components. I had one student even say, you know, I want to I wanna beat you on the track, so I want to win, but I don't want to beat you because you couldn't get on the track. In this test, vehicles were expected to recognize and interpret real-time traffic signal data, calculate time and distance, and come to a stop without driver intervention. Other scored events evaluated lane centering, driver attention monitoring, and drivetrain controls, all created with student-developed software. Judging measured each team's progress in terms of performance, energy efficiency, and component integration, as well as consumer acceptability, meaning how close to production ready is each car, and more importantly, how does it drive? They essentially handed us the car and say, do what you feel is right to it. And we decided that we didn't want to just pick efficiency or performance like most other teams did. We wanted to hit both. We want a consumer to get into our car and say, hey, I can drive this across the state or I could go down to a drag strip and be competitive. Ohio State University, working in tandem with Wilberforce University, claimed top team honors for 2025. Congratulations also to Georgia Tech for second place and the University of Alabama in third position. Amazingly, all 13 teams produced a drivable, nearly production-ready vehicle, reimagined, re-engineered, and built solely by college students. And no matter the results, the real prize for these students in terms of knowledge and expertise gained has been invaluable. For the current state of the vehicle and the challenges faced this year, we're happy of where we're at. There's a lot of improvements to do, but that's part of the challenge and the fun of it. The Motor Week app, which includes our latest reviews and feature stories, is now available for mobile devices.